Jack it up. Lock him down before a lot of that tenacity does start to ramp up as there's the level two being hit. And despite that flay being available, Feral's still going to be able to find life. Look at that. Um, not great damage wise. Cool. Great. Yeah. In goes Canyon. Clid's going to look for him here. Four on the bottom side. The flash is going to be traded. Only play yeah, these like just meat sacks on the top side is Khan. He's only level five, so he's not going to be driving a train into the Cho'Gath, but. He has uh, looking a little bit worrisome. He has two biscuits. He's gonna pop one. He's gonna hit this knockup. Like this is actually so scary for a rascal. Yeah, the knockup trade coming through here is uh, okay. six. Yeah, six is being gained. The feast is available. Knockup connects, and we're looking for it. There's the jump down, and Rascal's gonna eat the zombie for breakfast. This herald you know, is going by wandering through the mid lane. Rascal over here as well. They Not want gonna to find the silence there, unfortunately, as Khan wins that mind game. And now, Damwon Kia, they've found one. Sleepy Trouble Bubble comes down now as the, everyone's getting tired. The box comes in, but oh my god, the Rupture Shockwave combo is so good! From Rascal and BDD and Genji! They those rotations, and they didn't know where Clid was either. And he's able to set this up because he starts this off, gets everybody locked in, the sleep comes through, and then it's just really nice to follow up. As yeah, okay, you have the train colliding in, but BDD is so, it's so uh. easy to stack this up. He pulls them in, and it's, there's just trust between these two players. He gets a follow up silence too. Uh, Rascal does. So, like, what do you do if you're down one key? You get hit by that combo. With that uh, assist that he managed to put together. Barrel. Barrel now. Oh, not going to be able to taxi your way out of this one, my friend. And he's uh, looking for an opportunity, but not going to be able to get out. No flash, no chance. Because they thought the Drake is going to be taken down for sure, and they can't tell. They have one controller. Hold that thought. Yep. Double knockup is decent there as Khan. Going to find Rascal. Knocks him up. Spinning over the wall is Canyon, and there is no way for this. Uh, this Cho'Gath to go, Showmaker comes through, not able to quite get himself. I think that Ruler is going to be very safe in the late game, so when you look at the Damwon comp, you think that it's okay as uh, Beryl, he's not. He might have to just flash away from this one, not wanting to actually right now as he flashes relatively late. He's going to survive. Genji have been avoiding a lot of it right now as they do start off the Drake like you were talking about. Nice. Leona back in position, bowling ball avoided. Canyon's Moses yep. right now. In goes the train, does find a bit of damage onto Clid, but otherwise not too much as the flash out of the way from the hook. And you can see Khan mainly focusing on getting enough room to guarantee that that Drake is secured. Just because of the Scion pick. I mean, it's great for both yeah. teams, right? As uh, Beryl, once again, going to be slightly caught out of position. Rascal coming on in here, doesn't find the rupture, but Beryl is well and truly dead. So it. One uh, you're just going to get burst down and there's not much you can do about it. Like, why is he even going here? He has, is he trying to set for a, a really aggressive Zenith blade? I mean, there, he has vision here already, and I guess the idea is he thinks they don't see him, but they definitely knew, and this is just a huge mistake positionally that it's going to cost them a turret and a lot of vision control. Yep, and also they had no idea of the location of a lot of other people, but teleport coming in here into the mid lane is Rascal. That was just blind. He has no wards there, so, you know, if he hits one of those, suddenly get a pick. Oh, Shoemaker has to flash the shockwave. Then maybe they can engage. Here we go again. Yep. This is going to be the exact right. same type of fight. Well, Khan puts up his shield, but it's going to get melted pretty quickly. The hook comes back as well. Flame Chompers are down. Taking a bit of killing as Ghost Killer Instinct into the back line. They managed to get rid of BDD. There's the shutdown. Showmaker now in a little bit of trouble as Genji are trying to close in on him. Khan somehow still alive. The Showmaker goes golden. Life will be taken out. Dom One Kia in classic Dom One Kia fashion are looking like they're doing pretty well in this one. And now Ghost supercharging forward. Canyon looking for a little bit more. Started off really well for Gen G. So they're not done yet. Yep. Rascal's trying to chem tank his way forward. Clid not able to get the smite. As now Khan trying to be that front line. This is three versus four, but Khan is out of position. And Ghost has no killer instinct to follow up on anything. The zombie comes out. We don't have a lot of ultimates available as well as uh, the bubble. Not going to find any joy. Swirl Seed comes in. Clid 
could just be dead here as the Solar Flare comes through. Two-man Shockwave on the back line, but Beryl able to get past the Flame Chompers quite nicely. Showmaker now having a bit of a field day in this fight, but it's not going to save Beryl's life, and Gen.G, we're just looking for more kills. Ruler gets excited. You all know how terrifying that is. The Showmaker steals away the rip-off, but now he might lose his life, and is going to do so. Go Supercharges. Enough. When you yeah. watch the replay of that fight, too, I think a lot of people will will criticize Beryl for trying to go in by him. Which is very, very scary, especially when it makes Ruler excited. Zenith Blade going to connect, as the Solar Flare does not, unfortunately, and Beryl once again is going to be taken down. Flit trying to fight Ghost, not sure whether that's one you can win, as now Gen.G just considering they want to win the game. forward to the victory. Exactly, Ruler down to 50%, though. Look at the Not exactly cannons. what you want to be fighting with, but the first Nexus turret is going to be taken. Permanent Nexus threat, uh, you know, Nexus kill threat that is going to just continue to be a problem. And once again, Barrel decides to engage, but there's no follow-up here whatsoever. <laughs> and so, you know, Gen.G are just like, okay, well, cool story. Because the damage just isn't there for Don Wankia. Their damage is so burst, but it's not actually, there's no fault if you can't actually hit those shots. Yeah, we'd already stated what the problems were going to be in the later stage of the game. It's just really hard to uh, say that Don Wankia are down and out as uh, Canyon flashing forward, looking for that sleep, but all okay. the way into the back line they go, and now goes. Killer Instinct forward, but straight into a shockwave, and he's going to be taken down. BDD burns to death, and they do manage to get rid of Ruler. Not a lot of damage remaining, and yes, you managed to get Ghost, but where's your damage? Is now Showmaker able to really take this fight into his own hands. Clit, of course, can run away, but the rest of Gen.G not so lucky. And I'm really glad that, you know, selling Darmon Kia up the river <laughs> is something we're not allowed to do, because they just find moments like this. Beryl's going to get yelled at, but he's spent most of this game in the death chamber, let's be honest. Like this happened so many times with Don Juan Kia are behind. They make all these crazy complicated plays happen. Like every single play in this late game is like the most 200 IQ. As we're going to see Khan with a massive flank oh. at the exact time the sleep hits. And yeah, he doesn't get the follow-up. Sun doesn't matter. Ghost is picked, but so many resources used to kill him. And BDD is dead. The back line here is completely gone. And now you don't have any damage. Genji in this fight, you know, you're, you've got a tank, a support, and an Udir, okay? <laughs> Whatever you want to call that in this fight, it's not going to work. <laughs> a sprinting man. That I was so well executed from Khan and, and Canyon. From Canyon, man. Canyon seeing the fact that he lands the, the bowling ball onto BDD, and he's like, okay, this is a play we can make. Flashes, make sure that his sleep lands on Ruler as well. Doesn't matter. Um, but he is a very beefy boy. He's going to get knocked up here as the Solar Flare comes through. Barrel lands the Zenith Blade, but not exactly the Zenith Blade that he wants. He just gets eaten by the Void Monster. And now Khan finds himself off on the side. These are two quick picks onto the front line. As in Gen G, this might be enough to break the back of Damwon Kia now as they bear down on the base. Ghost in flanking position on the Kaiser. Not sure whether that's exactly what you want as the Shockwave going to pull him back. Might be able to get an explosion there on the BDD, but he's just running around and the hook is going to connect. So unfortunately, Ghost not going to be the hero this time. And Ruler gets excited, gets the flash out of Showmaker Canyon. This might be his first death of the game as he's looking to try and defend that one Nexus turret. This inhibitor going to go down. He's just trying to buy as much time as he can, but I think we know how this game ends. Showmaker, can he hit the magical sleep? Well, can he hit the magical paddle star as well as the Nexus is the focus? and Gen.G will do it. They'll take down game one. It was a great comp. It was a great answer to the Scion. And unfortunately for Damwon Kia, not enough. Line, line, line. 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 Line